is there? I've, I've no idea. I've that? no idea wow. really. But I think yeah. it is basically sort of like like band names. Like you try to think of a band name, yeah. and like it's sort of uh, you know like <laughs> all band names sound stupid until they're a band. You know, like who called the band the Who? You know, like, what a stupid name. Yeah. But like it works. <laughs> <you know>? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And I notice you change guitars while you're playing uh, the the set. Is is do you get different sounds out of different guitars? No, I just tend to put my out of very quickly. All right. <laughs> yeah. So that's the only reason. Uh, yeah, mostly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's not time to sort of like uh, it, to right? retune while you're on. It's probably is, but like. I like changing guitars. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got a few guitars, why not change them? <laughs> yeah. Good. And another one is, is, is your style of playing. Yeah, you're very. Uh, yeah, you've got your unique uh, own style. Um, the way you, yeah, move your body, the way you go down in the. It's it's and just and it's just a mixture of stuff like I picked up over the years, and like I'm not rockabilly, I'm not punk, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm like mixed all those things yeah. put together and like and depending on how I'm feeling or what day it is or <laughs> I've been drinking or whatever like it, it tends to come out the way, that way but like it's, it's to me it's Chuck Berry, Johnny Funders and and you know it's, it's a mixture of a lot of stuff you know, it's, it's 40 years of playing guitar yeah. is it 40 years? I started when I was 13, I'm 56 now so I uh, it's just bits and pieces you picked up over the years, and like you know, suddenly you just close your eyes, and that bit comes out again, yeah. or, or you you mix it up somehow. I don't yeah. know. I, I've got a question um, um, because you said uh, uh, about something about your style, but do you still uh, watch other bands and uh, go to other concerts and uh, see some other gigs? Not as much as I should do. No, which is which is sad in a way, but like I don't know. We always get to the age now where I tend to. But I always did listen to old old music. I never, I've never been one to follow fashion. Apart from the early seventies, but like I've never really, unless something moves me, I don't bother, you know. And like a lot of the new stuff don't move me. Yeah. But like, I, I, I'm 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 retro. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pity that you can't go to a specials concert because they're really good. <laughs> To be in, to to be inside. <laughs> well, we, we are retro now, I suppose, aren't we? I guess you forget that. Like, so I've, I've been to discos and you know, and uh, to them, like stuff to me, which is, I think still current. They, they're calling that retro. So like, you know, I, I don't know. There's, there's not a lot of stuff that moves me anymore. I don't know why that is. I mean, I'm just out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can I just come back on the guitar playing? Do you have you realised that uh, your style it, it is um, interpreted by other players? Yeah, well, it was that version of Monkey Man that some Yank band did, Scar band, and they sort of like the guitar was copied what I did. But, yeah. but I, I was, I don't know, I didn't really. It was the only way I could play at the time in the early specials. I didn't have. The experience to sort of like to know how to play any differently, so I just did the best I could, and it's become a style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it works. I recently saw uh, the Tokyo Scar uh, yeah, they're they're right. Orchestra, yeah, they're, they're, they're and brilliant I saw their guitar, and I saw a lot of his style of playing from you. The way he well, the thing is that when I started doing the play, playing the Scar reggae thing, like. It wasn't uh, the done thing to play uh, punky sort of rock and roll licks. Where since then it's become accepted. You know, like a lot of, uh, uh, Elvis Costello apparently wanted to sack me from the band when he did the first album because uh, he didn't see like the punk rock and roll guitarists don't fit. You know, but things we weren't trying to like um, do the Scar 60s thing, and we were trying to take it somewhere different. It's like Terry wasn't like singing like Prince Buster or somebody, he was doing this uh, monotone, Johnny Rotten, whatever, you know. There's still it, the things, the specials were, were, were still part of that punk scene at the time. It, we came in 
halfway through that. Yeah. Uh, the early, early bold stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause you, you came out the Wild Boys. Yeah. yeah. And and Terry came out the squad. Was it? Yeah. Well, it was, I suppose at that time there was like, in England, like, you got the independent record labels and you could actually go out and play uh, a bar or something and uh, if you were like remotely punk you get like a pat pat uh, you know, room yeah <coughs> um concrete jungle did i believe you wrote that with the wild boys which yeah was song yeah then yeah and, and then you took that into the specials well uh, jerry asked me to uh play on some recording they were doing in london and i guess like jerry had like was trying to get the best of country musicians into some format, and that's probably why we've always had problems because, like, we're all so different. But it, it was Jerry's vision. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. Um, yeah, just uh, because uh, we've seen uh, Rico Rodriguez uh, uh, over the summer twice, and how came he uh, to uh, join the specials? Uh, I think it's he it, it didn't like stuff with. Uh, that band called, uh, uh, anyway, like, it, it was sort of. I think Jerry was trying to sort of uh, have that heritage thing going. Mm -hmm. Like we got like in touch with the old scatter lights mm -hmm. stuff, you know, yeah. as well as the punk thing or whatever, you know. But uh, having Rico on tour was great, you know, because like, it was like having your granddad there. But I'm thinking in retrospect now, he wasn't as old as I am now. Yeah, like, but he seemed so much older because we were yeah, like in our twenties, yeah. and yeah. he he'd been around a bit, you know, and like he could play, yeah. <laughs> and he still can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do, do you have any uh, guest musicians uh, on this tour? Uh, most of the guys we've got are a bit younger than Rico now. Uh, sax player like Drew's, uh, he's played with Prince Buster and most of. The, Guys and t Tim the trombone player is sort of a bit more classically trained, you know. Mm -hmm. and John the trumpet player has been doing the scar circuit for, for years, you know. They're great players, good musicians. That's, that's the great thing about the specials now. And Nick Lloyd, a keyboard player, they're, they're really top notch musicians, you know. Better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a few beers and <laughs> rock, rock guitar, you know. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> Well, you've been honest, yeah. Uh, <laughs> to uh, be honest. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you've, you've still got a, a huge following after, after, say, 31 years. If, if you well, the thing is, like, the, the, the amazing stuff is, is, like, there's a lot of younger my kids are getting into it. And, like, you think, like, why is that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there must be something about it. Or it's just, like, the, the music, the, the feel, or whatever, or the lyrics. Why? Are like kids getting into what we're doing like 30 years after the fact, you know. Yeah. It, it's it's amazing. Like you see some kids down the front, you're like, you weren't even born then. I, I, I might know your mother or your grandmother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, do you do you think uh, it have any chance uh, to to get this uh, success again? I mean, in, uh, in the UK there was a uh, really shot. Uh, Shot hit. Two tone mania. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, which we don't had in, in Germany. So, but yeah. but I I heard a, a advertisement and they're using the selector on my radio, so it's really um, you hear and uh, something and and also <coughs> the reggae tunes are more popular now. Uh, well, in, on, in, on the in, in England, stations. like the, a lot of scar tunes are used for adverts and stuff now. So I, I guess because like the people are in charge of the business, the music business or, or business in general. That's their youth, so the stuff gets played again. Uh -huh. It's quite nice, so I, I can pay my bills, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, it's... Uh, will it continue, whether like it progress, or whether like... You know, it's hard to say, you know? Mm -hmm. You're still receiving royalties from the first album? They're still selling? Not as much as, obviously, people don't either got it or they don't, you know, 